Hello, in this Dart programming tutorial, I am going to show you comments. So there's two ways to do comments, single line comment and a multi-line comment. First of all, let me write some code. The actual code doesn't matter. So I'm going to do some simple print lines and I'm say hello world. Another one, I'll make this one say Batman. Save it, run it, we should get hello world and Batman on two separate lines. Simple stuff. So a comment allows you to essentially disable lines of code without deleting it. So if I were to do this, I've deleted the line, that code will never get run because it's no longer in there. But if we were to just do two forward slashes, as you can see, this color has now changed. If I were to run it now, we only get Batman. So that's how you do a single line comment and to comment out this line, put another two forward slashes. So before I show you the multi-line comment, you might be thinking, you know, why would we do this? If we don't want the code, would we just not delete it? And the reason you would actually do this is for two reasons. One, you might have created an algorithm, it's quite complex, it's got a lot of code there, you spend you know hours, days, potentially even weeks doing it. You don't want to risk deleting it or deleting bits of it and then realizing that you need it again. So if you just comment the code out, which is what the process is called, and doing this is uncommenting it. So I've just commented that line in again. So if I comment that little bit of code out, I can test it, see how it works without that code essentially running, but that code is still written down and it's still there. So I still have access to it. So that's a great way for debugging purposes. And comments don't slow down the application because all comments are removed before you actually get to the compilation stage. In the uh, the other reason why you would use comments is essentially to annotate and describe your code. So what you could do is on another line, an empty line, for example, put two forward slashes or the multi-line comment, which I'm going to show you in a second, and say this little code prints out some text so it allows you to just describe what your code does in this case this is very simple code doesn't need much explanation but if you again if you have a complex algorithm that you've created one for yourself is good as well because if you're looking at the code trust me weeks months or even years later you might think of it as like what the hell is that even doing also if you're working as a team or you know contributing towards an open source project then it's also handy for people that are using your code so they can understand almost like your full process and what that thing is doing so it's a little description so how do you do a multi-line comment so i'm just going to essentially duplicate this line a few times if I wanted to comment out, so imagine if I had these five lines of code, I wanted to comment them out. I could go down the route of doing this. And there we go, nothing is run. But honestly, that's a bit, you know, tedious. Actually, that's another cool thing I want to show you is if you keep the Alt key pressed on your keyboard, as you can see, the cursor now changes to like a cross cursor you can do essentially rectangle selection, which is really cool. So if I start typing something in, types you on all the lines, for example. But a multi-line comment, where you want to start commenting out your code, you put four slash asterisk. As you see, everything else is now highlighted green, which is the comment color. And then where we want to end the comment, we put asterisk for a slash. And that's it. That's the multi-line comment. So that's it, it's really simple to do comments, but really useful. I definitely recommend doing it for debugging purposes and testing. I also recommend it for annotating and writing descriptions of you know, your code, especially big chunks of your code. So you and other people know exactly what it's doing you know, at a later date. It's something that a lot of people don't do, but it is really useful. That's it, if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.